Hi guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my book review for the 100 Day 21. So, um, I recently got into the 100 probably about, I would say like two months ago? Yeah, two months ago. I was on my YouTube, not YouTube feed, sorry. It was on my Netflix, it was on my Netflix, um, suggested and I had seen like I heard a little bit about it on TV because it came on right before um a show I watched called Rain like the day before and so I never really got into it just because I was too busy with school last year but this I got into the show and I got hooked I watched season one in about a week and a half which was really rare because I don't really watch I don't really like binge watch shows I just don't have time but I was so hooked the show is so freaking amazing I'm so happy it got um, renewed for a third season. So I picked up the book called The 100 Day 21. So one thing I like about this book is that it's very interesting. Like, it keeps you hooked. Like, you never know what's going to happen. And even though there's different stories going on, I never got confused. Like, one problem I had with the Legion is that I never knew who was talking because it just seemed, they all seemed very similar to me. Like, whenever Tobias was talking, I kept thinking it was Tris was talking. And, like, it just didn't work. But in this book, Cass Morgan, it works because each person, their voice is very distinct. It's very unique. And they have their own problems to deal with. And so um, you have some of the same characters. Like, you have Clark and you have Bellamy. You have Octavia. Then you also have new characters like Glass and Luke. Um... I believe you have Lincoln. I think so. I'm not, like, positive, but I believe you have Lincoln. You also have Wells, which is so great because, as you know, a spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Wells got killed off in the third episode, which was not okay with me because I freaking loved Wells. And so seeing him alive and well in the book is so just awesome. This book was just so great. Um, I need. I kind of did this backwards. I didn't read the first book. I read the second book. But one thing I liked about this book is that it continues the stories from the first book. And basically what they're trying to do is Bellamy is trying to find his sister, Octavia, trying to um, unite against, um, just unite against, um, 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 blanking on the word, Matt Weather. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Matt Weather. And so it's just really, it was just so good. Like I couldn't put it down. Um, just like Bellamy and Clark are canon. Ah! so wonderful and great <laughs> so great oh my gosh it's so wonderful it's all the little moments and their sass and their just like the romance but it's not like silly romance it's like well thought out wonderful romance um and then you have you know um Bellman's relationship with like Wells and I really loved their friendship in the TV show in the first in the only three episodes we got. So seeing it in the book was wonderful. There is no Finn, but at least there's Wells. So I'm happy. Um so yeah, so I don't know. I just love her writing. I feel like she fleshes out the characters very well. Um they're well thought out, they're not one dimensional. It's just a great read. And I normally never really get time to read during school, but I couldn't put this book down. I mean during work, sorry. Work is school for me. Um, I work at school. But yeah, so I just I love this book. I cannot wait for the next one. I need to go back and read the first one. But it's wonderful and I loved it. So Kaz Morgan, you are wonderful and amazing. So if you guys have not watched The Hundred, it is on Netflix. You can join for free. And it's on Netflix. There's 12, 13 episodes, uh, 12 or 13 episodes in the first season. Season 2 is airing right now on the CW. I watch them on Hulu Plus because I do not have the CW channel. But if you don't have the CW, if you don't have Hulu Plus, again, Hulu Plus, you join for free for 30 days, get you caught up. Um, it's also, I believe it should be on the CW um, network website. But it's a wonderful show just with awesome characters. Women are not marginalized. We are very much um, powerful and wonderful human beings. But also we are prone to emotions and love. Um, there is a diversity. I love seeing a variety of cultures represented on the show. Uh, just just all around a wonderful show. A wonderful writing. Wonderful acting. It is an awesome show. So, if you have not read this, please read The 100 Day 21 by Kaz Morgan. The first book is just called The 100. So, thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful night. Bye, guys.